Hey everybody, welcome back to another Motivation Monday podcast for Monday, October 22nd, 2018. Hope you had a great weekend and hope you're ready to kick off this week in an inspiring way. Get a few uh, words to get you going. So I had an awesome experience last week that I wanted to tell you about and I've been thinking about it a lot and I think it might be something that we all want to think about on our journey to get better at this music, be a well-balanced musician and make sure that we're kind of covering all of our bases. So I got to see one of my absolute heroes uh, in this musical world, Joe Lovano, and I got to see a clinic that he did, um, got to hang with him a little bit, and he was just such a fantastic human being. It's, It's so great in jazz. Most of the people that you meet that are your heroes are even nicer folks than you could have ever expected, which I don't think happens in a lot of other uh, fields of entertainment besides jazz. Most of these people, they had to work so hard to get where they are that they stay pretty humble. And the music actually is a a very good thing to keep you humble as well, because most of these these people, even though they're at the top of their game, uh, they realize that there's still work to do each and every day and how important it is to keep trying to get better. So that obviously keeps you a little bit grounded and, uh, you know, reminds you of kind of where you came from and where other people might be on their journey. So anyways... One of the things that I noticed when Lovano did his clinic is how natural of a musician he is and how kind of spiritual in a musical way he is as a person and a player. Um, he did not talk about anything technical whatsoever. You know, he was talking about these kind of big topics and the way that he uses tonality like tonality period, not getting any more specific than that, to make his music and think about music. And then he talked a lot about the history of the music, and it was so clear what a historian Joe Lovano is and how kind of pumped up the history of the music gets him. He's always thinking about the people that came before him and kind of how he fits into that lineage of jazz musicians. He knows absolutely every musician from all over the country. He knows where they're from, um, who they played with when they were coming up, basically their entire catalog. Just so impressive to hear all of the knowledge that he has. But anyways, back to a little bit about how natural of a musician he is. Um, It's clear to me that when he was younger, he must have put in a lot of time on technical aspects of the instrument and technically understanding the music. And he did so much work in that sphere of things that now he just kind of lets go when he plays. His ears are so good that he can just kind of play what he hears. His knowledge of harmony and his knowledge of how jazz actually works is so deep and so well-formed that he doesn't think about it while he plays. Now, when I was sitting in this clinic, I started to feel kind of bad about myself because obviously I think a lot about the technical side of this music, right? I mean, that's pretty clear because I give you guys kind of a, a technical lesson every single Friday, you know, with a worksheet and something concrete to work on. And I started feeling like, okay, well, I, I'm doing the wrong thing. I should just tell everybody to kind of work on their ears and, and go on their own journey. And eventually they will be amazing at music. But then what I realized is that, you know, Joe did all that stuff as well. He had to. He wouldn't be the player that he is today if he didn't do that kind of stuff. So we need both the technical and then we also have to think about music in a very visceral way and kind of play what we feel. And at the end of the day, we want our personality to come through in our music, right? So it stressed to me the importance of both sides of things. So I guess what I'm here to tell you today is you can't ignore either side. So when you listen to my podcast, just know that what I'm kind of showing you is only half of the equation, right? You need to work on these technical exercises that I give you and strive to have this knowledge that I'm showing you uh, present in your playing and in your mind. But then you also really need to take the time to just kind of play 
and connect with your instrument and connect with the music and figure out what your musical personality is, what you want to say through your instrument, and really connect with that human side of playing music as well. Because we've all heard people that play jazz and they're not connected to the spiritual side of jazz. They're not connected to an individual voice that they have. Maybe they haven't figured it out yet, or maybe that's a side of their playing that they're just not into exploring. But after being around somebody as deep and as amazing as Joe Lovano, I want to, you know, investigate that side of my playing more and more and more. And what I realize is that I still need to work on technical stuff. I still need to work on the inner workings of music every single day so that when I speak with my own voice, I can do it fluently. And that's kind of what this experience last week has taught me, um, is to be a more well-rounded musician. So if you feel like you're taking one side or the other more into account, Try to reserve a little bit of time in your practicing to explore that other side. Just let yourself go and almost meditate with your instrument. Um, Connect with it. Figure out how it can become more of your voice and less of somebody else's voice. And I think that this would be a really good thing to think about this week. And will probably improve your playing almost right away. And after all, that's kind of what we're all after. But remember that you do have something to say, no matter what you think, and that you should be constantly trying to figure out who you are as a musician and allowing that to come out of your instrument. Okay, I don't know if that's a little bit too kind of woo-woo for everybody, but I do think it's super important, and it's something that I've been really, really trying to think about in my own world this past week. All right. So I hope everybody has a great week. I hope that does something for you. And we'll see you on Friday with a brand new episode. Talk to you soon. Bye.